Hey guys, what's up? Turbo Loco here, and today we are here with a brand new game. I say new, it's old as hell, but it's new for the channel. It's FIFA Street 3. I've done already FIFA Street 1 and FIFA Street 4, so it's time to do FIFA Street 3. Now, it might not be the new game that you guys wanted. I know a lot of you are requesting 2002 World Cup, 1998 World Cup, but just bear with me. You know, why well, sort that out, you know, you know, because this PS2 stuff and PS2 stuff uh, requires different recording stuff. So I just figured I'll do Fifth Street 3 because that was another game that I haven't done in this channel. We're just going to do a few games and see what it's like. Well, obviously we want to be Brazil because they probably have the best lot of players for this. So this is my lineup. I've got Julius Cesar, Danny Alves, Ronaldinho, Kaka and Ronaldo. I think that's a fair lineup, isn't it? All right, here we go then. Fifth Street 3 on the Xbox 360. Remember when FIFA actually, like, made FIFA Street, like, super crazy? I mean, this game looks a little bit weird with the character animations, but we'll see how it goes. Whoa, that was a bit weird from Julius Cesar. Oh, that was just straight in. <laughs> what a goal that was by Danny Alves. Look at that. <laughs> it's a very colourful game. I actually like it. It's, a, it's, it's, it's got a decent style to it. Like, it's sort of like a mixture of FIFA... A Street 1 and then FIFA Street 4. Have you ever played FIFA Street 4? It's like sort of like Volta a little bit, but Volta's more like, you know, they took the fun out of it, the Volta. <laughs> Look at this. This is just like basically a typical FIFA opponent online. Oh no, they just got their game breaker and they're just gonna smash it in. Oh, I just blocked it. Alves? Ooh! <sighs> See, whenever I do skill, I just can't do it. Maybe I'm just being an idiot. Oh, I just made Ronaldo. Oh, now they got the game. Oh, off the post. Oh, goalkeeper saves. And again, wow. Oh, Kaka just literally just sent Jarrod flying. Oh, they just scored. Okay. Well, Joe Cole. Wow, what a name to have back then. I guess back then he was actually pretty good, to be fair. The tackling. I, I just can't get on with the tackling. Look, look at, look at what I'm trying to do here. All you've got to do is hope that someone just misses. England seem to be all over me. Oh, they got their game breaker and they just scored. That was a cheap goal to concede. Oh, John Terry as well, scoring it. As you can probably see, I probably suck at this game. I'm not very good at FIFA Streets. And they almost scored again. Oh, wool run. <laughs> Ronaldo just wool run then. That was a little bit... I can't even say that properly, but he did it. Danny Alves. Off the... Oh, my God. Wow. That was um strange. Imagine doing the shot. we got to try that, right? we got to try that. We've got to try and get the ball. Oh no, he just made both fake. That was good by England. That was good. Joe Cole again. Wow. Imagine if he actually did that in a real match. Oh, Ronaldinho off the wall and in. That is fantastic by Ronaldinho. His character model looks weird. Oh wow, they just shot from distance and then went straight in. John Terry and Joe Cole are popping off in this. Oh, Ronaldinho. We love to see that. Oh, Ronaldo. Oh, look at that by Ronaldo. Fat Ronaldo scores. Look at this. He just goes back and he just goes bang straight in. Right, it's 4-3 now. Can we pull this back? Oh, he's going to score that. Yeah, of course. I was mucking about a bit too much and that was Gerard with the goal. We're going against an easier team. Let's go against New Zealand and see how good they are. <laughs> They're probably not that great at all. Goalkeeper just messed up big time there. <laughs> I don't know what he was doing there. Let me score that one with ease. Just, he just kicked it off the wall and went straight in. Gattuso. Why is Gattuso massive on this game? It's like so muscular. Look at him. New Zealand trying it. Oh, that, really, that was a great save by Buffon. Oh, Tony. Oh, did that go in? Oh, no, it didn't. Tony, oh, great header. Off the wall to a header. Not impressive at all, I bet. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Yeah, I have that. That was an easy goal. Cannavaro. Just ran through and just smashed it in. No skill whatsoever. Oh, that was, that was all right, to be fair, by Paolo. Doesn't really look like Paolo, really, but he just dragged it back and just went bang. Oh my god! Oh my god, that was ridiculous! 
by Cannavaro. That was ridiculous. Off the wall shot. Look at that. Oh, back heel. He back heeled it. Off the wall. That is mental. This game, you can actually do some pretty insane stuff. That's what they should do with Volta. Not to that extent, obviously, but they should do stuff like that. Like, Volta, when I played it, I was expecting, like, you know, like, when I played it, I put all the crap players on, like Lovren, and expecting to do mad skills, and then he couldn't do mad skills. I was like, well, what is this then? Let's do Portugal versus China. Let's see how that's, this goes on. Obviously, I wanted it because I wanted Cristiano Ronaldo. Obviously, five-star skiller. He's an absolute baller on this game. There are different modes on this game, but they're not very, like, great. There's only headed, there's headers and volleys, which is obviously self-explanatory. Um, you've got timed match, um, you've got score difference, which is basically just, like, you have to, um, you know, have a better score difference than your opponent. So, like, if you want to win by two goals, then you have to do that. And then there's um, five aside, which is basically just, like, this. But it's actual proper football, I believe. Which is not what we're here for. We're here for the skills. Oh, that I just he just kicked the ball off the roof. He has to go and get that now. He has to go all the way downstairs into the road and go and get it. Well, I don't. Oh, I thought that went in. Can I? Oh yeah, I can. I can. I can go to goalie. Let's go. Let's go. Game breaker with the goalie. No way. No way. Ricardo scored that one. He just flicks it in the end, just goes bang! Just goes bottom corner. Chinese goalkeeper had no chance for that one. So you can score the goalkeeper on this game. Nice one. There's no career mode on this game. As far as I'm aware, it's just like basically a set of challenges and you've got to do them. You unlock like new players for your team and stuff like that. Much like sort of pure football, but pure football doesn't have the skill element on it. Cristiano Ronaldo, he's like, I'm beast. No one else is. Look at me. This is like Ronaldo in his first season at United. That's all he used to do. Reminds me of that, you know, when he's on the wing against, was it like an Arsenal player or something? I can't remember. But he was like doing all those step overs. Oh, China just missed an open goal then. We had been playing around with China. Oh, that, that move was just amazing. Charisma. That move, I just chipped it there, just overheads it, no chance. And I've got my game breaker as well now. That was a pretty bang average goal to be fair, but <laughs> couldn't really do much about it. All I did was chest it down and just tap it in. Oh, Ronaldo off the wall and in. What the hell? Oh my god, Carvalho! What the hell? He jumped in midair! He jumped in mid-air there, look at that! Oh, that was brilliant! So anyway, that was FIFA Street 3 for the Xbox 360. I hope you enjoyed this little video. If you did, then give it a like and subscribe. I enjoyed it, it was good to see what FIFA Street was like back then. I do vaguely actually remember it. I remember some of the FIFA Streets, because um, I played them by my mate's house. I never really used to buy them, but yeah, it was really fun, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Keep it loco, like and subscribe, and I'll see you again for the next video.